you think, Vincent? Pink one or the pink one? That's what I thought. Let's go pink. So, Jeff, what do you think? Yeah, well, he'll last, yeah. It is, and in honor of this unseasonable heat wave, we're playing hot tunes all day long. This is CKR Squamish. <laughs> I told you, really, I ain't ordered none of that Niagara. Oh, no, it's called Viagra, Chip. It's Viagra. <laughs> oh, honey, your thrust is too far north. <laughs> Hi, Chip. Good morning, Hey, Berlin. Eve, dear. Morning, Wilbur. How are you today? Well, I'm a little welted, but good, thanks. Oh, Banana loaf. the best, Evie. Every time I taste it, I feel like my Mabel's right here. Well, it is her recipe. So it is. Anything come for me? There you are. <clears throat> Great. Anything else? No, this is it, thanks. Thanks, Wilbur. Now, for those of you who are out there uh, melting away, don't put away that thermal underwear just yet. Next week's forecast is hockey could actually be in the cards. Well. Uh, if you're asking if it's hot out, yeah, it's boiling. Well, there's nothing like a good sweat to grease up the machinery. It's good for the libido, if you know what I mean. Alma, mm -hmm. I want that pig taken off the roof. Aw, oh, your mama, God rest your soul, love that pig. It stares at me. It's like a bad reflection. Oh, for peace sake, I wish you'd quit going on about your weight. It's not like you've been on Springer or anything. Yeah, well, it's not likely I'll be on the cover of a magazine anytime soon. Girl, you piss me off. Like what real woman is. Take me, for example. Every morning I gotta harness gravity's joke on nature. Push up bra, support hose, tummy tuck and panties, face firm and foundation, extra whole air spray, body glitter. Now that's your average woman. <laughs> Let's face it, time may be a great healer, but it's a lousy beautician. You two talking all day or somebody picking up this order before I turning 65? I am 65. All right, all right. Don't get your kibasses all steamed up. She's coming, Uncle Len. One double hog chow deluxe combo platter. Dolly part mash, daily veg, gravy on the side. How someone can scarf down this hibernation platter when it's hotter than the backseat of a limb on prom night is beyond me. Everything is beyond you. But a pretty little pipe dinner like you knows nothing about a pork dinner. Makes heart strong, like bull. Yeah, whatever, Lord Master. Easter Lord Master to you, please. Good afternoon, Evie. We'll have two number four platters, and two double trough lemon iced teas, and a side order up. So, Red, how's life in the land of the dead? Couldn't be better, thanks to Len's cooking. Mind you, I had to turn up the air conditioning a bit. I don't want any of these stiffs percolating. Makes the loved ones antsy. Well, that's nice, Red. It's really nice to know that that sign in your office that says service with dignity really means something. Yeah, I don't scrimp. 
Anybody who dies during this heat wave is going to get the benefit of the ultra deluxe embalming package. No extra charge. Isn't that right, Stoney? Mm-hmm. Well, here's your ice. No extra charge. Yeah. See that? What goes around comes around, huh? Hey! How's my favorite stiff guy? Oh, baby, no. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, I'm just a sponge waiting to Ooh. soak up your love. You ring me out and start me all over again. Uh, <laughs> oh, baby, wait, I've got something for you right what? here. What? What is it? <gasps> well? Mm. Not yet, honey. Oh, oh, man. Aw, oh, you're still my little Ochily Wochily. I am? Mmm. 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 Guys, <laughs> the idea of this place is to enhance people's appetites with items on the menu. Yeah. I'm about as enhanced as I can think I could ever be. Mm. 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 You smell good. Mm, you smell good. Like yeah. from Malahide. <laughs> 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 the boss was wondering if you could take Verlina Chip's order now. <sighs> Pulling rank on me. All right, Sugar. I'll be back in a flesh. <laughs> I mean, flash. <laughs> <laughs> I love that girl, Tony. I love that woman. This is for Happy Face and his partner over there. Okay, here you go. Oh, steady there, girl. I think after all these years, she'd get her knickers untwisted over that man. Enough is enough. It's time to piss or get off the pot. Jeff Sweeney isn't going to be available forever, you know. Well, he has been available for some time, honey bunny. Although, Alma's right, you know, Evie. This Saturday night, the dance is a perfect opportunity to make your move. Isn't that right, Snowman? Uh-huh. Jeff is the best catch in Squamish. Yeah, I don't want to make a fool out of myself. Oh, for crying out loud, you've known him for years. Now, this is so strange for one friend to ask another friend to a dance. Girl. When are you gonna start living? Hmm? It's time to stop dreaming and start doing. You know what, love buffer? Oprah couldn't have said it better herself. Oh, thank you, Shaker Puss. Okay, okay, you're right. By the end of today, I will have said some... No, I'm gonna do something. It's time to face the music. Coldest thing you have? Um, ice, cubed, chipped, or crushed. I'll have a double, cubed, and throw some water in it. <laughs> oh, and a bacon double cheeseburger side of fries, and double up on the gravy. Len, number two, what the fries? something? Sure. How do you eat like that and look like that? Good jeans and bad cigarettes. Non-smoker, bad jeans. I appreciate the compliment, but it's not likely I'll ever be on the cover of a magazine. 
know what real woman is. Exactly. Um, if you don't mind me saying so, I think, I think you look great. Gee, sweetie, I was beginning to think that you forgot all about me over there. Oh, sorry. I'm Jeff. You certainly are. What it would be? Oh, uh, I'll have the usual. Thanks, sweet pea. Um, Eve, is it, um, could you make mine to go? I'm tired and desperate for a shower. If you could just direct me to the Sweeney Country Inn. Well, fancy that. Allow me to properly introduce myself. The name is, uh, Jeff Sweeney, and I would be proud to escort you there myself. Poor Evie. Looks like Romeo's getting ready to hitch up his courting tights again. Look, he's more likely to be hitching them down. What did you say, Fluff? Penne arrabbiato. Oh, you mean macaroni, spicy tomato sauce, and sausage. No, I mean penne arrabbiata. It's Italian. <laughs> you know what, Evie? For years, we ate macaroni. And all of a sudden, everything becomes pasta. When it's American macaroni, it's 49 cents a bag. And when it's this Italian pasta, it's 15 bucks a bag at that fancy pants place you've been shopping at. Sorry, Chuck. I just thought I'd make something nice for you. Whatever. You're wasting them on me. And the last thing you should be doing after working around food all day is cooking up a storm at home. Besides, I know you're not doing it for me. What is that, some crack about my weight? Well, I'm not trying to hurt you, but, uh... I'm worried about you. You know what? You don't have to worry about me. I'm a big girl. I can take care of myself. Evie! Hey! Can you take my... Hi. Hey. How's it going, buddy? Hey, what gives? You look like your own dog just bit you on the ass. My sister just did. What? Not that. Some family feuding. Nah, don't sweat it. Eve's a sweetie. Give her a day, she'll be over it. Uh-huh. So there she was at the child. The most beautiful creature God put on this green planet, Miss Linda Avery. Part angel, part centerfold, all woman. <laughs> and you're telling me this luscious lady's staying at your inn? Yep. And it's just a matter of time before I introduce her to the manager's special. <laughs> the manager, you are a dog. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta hit that heart. Oh. Yeah, Richard, I got it. I don't know yet. There are records to check, surveying, marketing projections. Good. I'm glad we have an understanding. The exploitation of a small town does not happen overnight. It may take a couple weeks, but trust me, a big fat bonus is plenty of motivation. So, I take it you didn't make any headway with Loverboy this afternoon, did ya? No, not really. I'll tell you not really. Not at all. That's the correct answer. Well, did you see that supermodel? She blew my confidence. Did you see how Jeff was staring at her? Sweetness, don't you go fretting about that. That kind of Barbie doll probably has some well-hung sugar daddy waiting back for her in the city. You think? I think. I know. Honey, Alma is never wrong when it comes to matters of love and lust. Yeah, well, I hope you're right. Well, what I am right about for sure is it's just night to ten bar at the end. Now, you better get yourself all gussied up and get over. Hey. No. Hey, hey, no bots. You're going. You get your butt over there and you have a drink. It's about time he saw you in something besides that polyester pink number. <laughs> right, because my navy polyester number is so much more attractive. Just get your butt moving and don't make me send Red to check up on you. <gasps> He's here. He looks gorgeous. It's Evie. Now I mean it, honey. Okay, I'll go. Good. And then call me as soon as you get home. Uh, if you hear the answering machine, just leave a message and I'll call you right back. Oh, yes, yeah, senor. Senorita. Ah. 
found something for you here. Mm. Like a crazy little cool, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you want some more? Yeah. Oh, let me lick the drops up. <laughs> All right, there you go, man. Have a good night. All right, you too. Yeah. All right. All right. Be good, Dwayne. Yeah. Enjoy those monkey cakes. Later, Dwayne. Come on, Chef. No, 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 no. Let's go dance. Chef, yes. can I please get some more pretzels or peanuts or something? Well, you've already had a bowl of each, Chuck. Those aren't meant to be a meal. Well, I'm short a bologna sandwich if you don't remember correctly. Thank you. What? Oh, my Jesus, Mary and Joseph. I've been touched by an angel. That's my angel, buddy. And I suggest you keep your nose well behind the pearly gates. Fair game, as far as I'm concerned. First come, first serve, my friend. Watch and learn. <clears throat> wow, Miss Avery. Lovely seeing you twice in one day. I have a scotch double on the rocks. Come right up. So how long are you going to be in town? A real long time, I hope. You boys certainly don't believe in anyone drinking alone, do you? Not when she looks like you. Oh, Evie, you, Evie, hi! Evie, oh, you, hi! Hey, old buddy. Oh, God. Eve's here looking for you. Um, Me <laughs> and my sister are currently not on communicating terms. Well, actually, uh, she's here to meet me. If you'll excuse me. Why don't you just come have a drink with me and Eve, is it? Thank God you're here. Huh? Would you excuse us for a sec? Would you want to grab a table with me? Okay. Yeah. I'll oh. see you later. Yeah. Bye. Well, I guess there's no point in you boring two women tonight. Oh, geez, thanks, Verlene. Another slash to my pecker ought to do the trick. Eve, Linda Avery. Oh, hi. Nice. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey, little sis. You having a good night? I'm not. We had a fight earlier. I'm feeling pretty bad about it, so I want to buy you a drink to make up for it. Actually, Eve declines the offer. Do you know what I like? I like a man who can respect a woman's space. I'm your man. You ladies have fun. Seriously, honestly, have fun. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you really know how to handle a guy. Uh, experience. Yeah, you must have guys after you all the time, huh? I get my fair share of attention, but I'm uh, very particular. What, like you have some well-hung sugar daddy waiting for you somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> Hardly. Where would you get an idea like that? Sexy to me. Mm -hmm. Like what? It ain't sexy if I gotta tell you what to say. Oh, wait, you know I'm no good orally. Oh, get no argument from me there. Hey, why don't I show you my idea of a real man? I'm partial to the strong, silent Mexican type. I can't say we're going all the way, hombre, but we're sure gonna have fun trying. <laughs> What's going on there? Just drinking with my sister. Odds are in my favor, Jeffrey. I agree. In your favor would be odd. So, what's a businesswoman like you doing in a town like this? Actually, I don't like to talk business when I have such nice company. Me? Mm. How long have you been in love with that guy? What? So how long have you been in love with him? Not long. Just my whole life. 
but I'm not really his type. Well, I don't think he's your type. I think you are his type. Well, I know he's not my type. <laughs> Sweeney, your days are done. I made the impression. I felt the vibe, the Stuckley vibe. <laughs> Shut up. What do you know, you got looks and talent. I'd kill to have what you have. You would kill for an extra 20 pounds and a dead-end job? I don't quite see it that way. People from this city always say that. They think small towns are clean. Come on, it's a wonderful life. How would you know? Actually, I would. How? I grew up in Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan. Lived there for 20 years <laughs> until I had to leave. Why? Well, let's just say I wasn't welcome anymore. It's your turn. OK. <laughs> Come on. You can do it. <laughs> well, they look like they're having a gay old time. You're telling me you're a don't say the B word. Sounds too biblical. You're gonna, you're gonna roam this sexual Sahara forever. <laughs> Pretty much. Eve's Stuckley, professional nomad. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. 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 <laughs> you know, uh, Jeff's not the only game in town. Yeah, well, he's the only game I want to play. <laughs> Maybe you should try playing something else. People in the cemetery are awake. Hey, you know, the heat's finally broken. That should make you feel better, right? Nothing can make me feel better. No? Well, I brought you food. No, thanks. You don't want any food? No. Sausage? No. Um, sis? Hmm. Hey, Evie. What? Oh. How did you make out with your friend last night? What do you mean? Nothing, just, um... Well, you know, did you guys... talk about me? At all? What explains the buffet? Get out. What? Get out! I'm going! Out! I'm, I'm going! <sighs> Who made your breakfast? Did you say anything at all? Because I... <laughs> oh, man, I was so drunk. I didn't even know what was going on. Worse, I don't even know if I liked it or not. Well, you better make up your mind, because it ain't going to be made up for you. Sweetheart, there is nothing wrong with ordering off the menu once in a while. In fact, <clears throat> did I ever tell you about the time I worked at the Prairie Oyster in Charleston? Hmm. Seems Miss Alma had a little feminine dalliance of her own. <laughs> her name was Bob. I'll never forget it. Well, that was another time. Your case is different, because you were so drunk. 
You didn't even know if you liked what you ordered, am I right? Right. Honey, listen to Aunt Alma. Don't you worry your pretty little head about it, okay? One little girly girl kiss does not make you a member of the sorority any more than eating one egg roll makes you a Chinaman. Alma. What? You need to help me. Uh, I got the perfect solution. Great, let's hear it. Throw a dinner party. A dinner party? A dinner party? Yes. All right, Alma. It's official. All of the chemicals from your hair dye have soaked into your brain. That's what you think, Miss Smarty Pants. Actually, it's preserved my intelligence. The way I see it, Jeff likes being around Linda, am I right? And clearly, she don't seem to mind being around you. An understatement, I know. This is mine and Red's favorite book. <laughs> Lust for you? <laughs> yes, absolutely. It's joy of cooking meets joy of sex. OK, so you're saying I should use Linda's attraction for me to spend more quality time with Jeff. Exactly. Huh. Dinner party. All right, well, maybe food can work for me instead of against me for once. Honey, don't you go down on your waist again. What did I just say? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I got a lesbian on my mind. <laughs> Yeah. You're brave. I fully expected after last night that you'd steer clear of me. Well, you did catch me by surprise. I'll say. A coffee? Sure. OK. Since I didn't think in a million years that you were Gay? Lesbian? I like either. Yeah, either. Were you expecting a nose ring, shaved head, flannel shirt? I don't know what I was expecting. So, what are you expecting now? Well, I am having a dinner party. I thought I would invite you to show you there are no hard feelings. Right, no hard feelings. So are there any other feelings? Ugh, you kept this? Luna, this is terrible. It's good. You really captured me. I mean, I look a little sad, but... Well, like I said, I'm not really that good. You're a lot better than you think. Check, old buddy. Guess who just left my office? <laughs> I wish. No, it was my other girl. Seems that I've been invited to a little dinner party at your place tomorrow night along with Linda. I'd say it's time to draw your sword, my friend. Or in your case, a butter knife. <laughs> Elma? Mm -hmm. Where's my sister? Oh, she took some time off. Freedom home? Flesh and blood! So I told you. As far as I know, it's 99.9% .9 accurate that Miss Linda Avery is not interested in Jeff. <laughs> so now he thinks she's interested in him. <laughs> oh, I was having too much fun to set the story straight, so to speak. She is awful pretty, though. Hmm. Too pretty to be a lesbian. You think? Maybe she isn't a lesbian. Maybe not. Tomorrow night. I'll put her through Uncle Red's sexual authenticity test. <laughs> hey, I got a few tests of my own to put you through. Though you shall run through the valley of love, fear not. I only fear the love that I have that is so strong I might lose my identity, <laughs> but so seductive that I don't even care. <laughs> yes, Richard, by the time I'm finished, I will have this place looking like Vegas on steroids. I know, who would have known? I, I would have met someone so great in this armpit of the world. See you, buddy. God, I love small towns. Yeah, I know. It's 
It's just too bad we're from two different worlds. Not too different, Miss Avery. Look at her. Scramble, 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 scramble. Wearing her very serious glasses. What is she doing? Eve, Eve. What is she doing with all them papers? I don't know. Every time I go over there, she turns them over. Hmm. Well, maybe she's doing the paperwork that's necessary for a sex scene. <laughs> That's just nonsense. Don't you know, if she did that, she wouldn't be a lesbian anymore. She'd be a heterosexual. Or she, or would that make her a gay man? All I know is nobody comes to Squamish voluntarily. Hey, Eve, Eve. Maybe you could use some friendly persuasion to find out. What do you think? Because I look like Alma's evil twin. Let me help you with that. It's not hey, that's like gilding the lily. You don't need no aphrodisiac. Hard. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how about you, Luna? You like a nice, long, hard loaf yourself? Not really. Oh. I prefer a nice, soft yeah, bun. Nice bells. I like them both. Evie's mom, yeah, yeah. She died five years ago. Poor girl was devastated. Wow. And her father? Well, that snake left when she was six years old. It's a good thing Uncle Len was there to help out at the diner. Oh, yeah. Len? Yeah, the guy with the big teeth? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he helped him make a life of it. Of course, Jeff was always there, too, you know? Really? Yeah. I'm surprised. Oh, yeah. It's nice of you to come. Well, how could I miss my best girl's cooking? Nice song. Sounds just like Katie Lang. I love Katie Lang. Isn't Katie Lang a, what do you call it, a... Grammy winner? No, 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 no. I remember reading about Katie Lang that she was a, what do they say? Oh, what's the word? Uh... Canadian? No, no, and I knew she's Canadian too. No, no, she's. I read that Katie Lang was a. Um, um, isn't she a. Um, uh, what do you call it? A. Uh, Vegetarian. <laughs> You're just playing with me now, aren't you, sweetie? <laughs> you know exactly what I mean, don't you? Oh, you mean a. a lesbian? Muff diver? Carpet muncher? Oyster shucker? Or maybe you just mean. Woman in sensible shoes. Actually, I was thinking country and western singer. I got you a little something as a way of saying thank you. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> it's a sweet pea flower. <laughs> oh my gosh. It had you all over it. Come, I'll put it on. Thank you. No, thank you. I mean it. It's real nice of you to have this dinner to get me and Linda together. Well, uh, I better get out there while the trail's still hot. You know, in all my years of funeral and then, I've never seen a guy quite as well endowed as this fellow was. I mean, now what do you think of that, Miss Linda? Well, Red, I think the fact that it impresses you so might be an encouraging sign for you to explore your sexuality. <laughs> <laughs> She's 
got you there, Red. <laughs> uh, don't you, my Red. He's a bit of a pain sometimes, but he don't mean no harm. He's just kind of ignorant, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry. I've had plenty of experience dealing with guys like Red. Oh, honey, you ain't never met no one like Red. Ooh, do you mind if I have one of those? Oh, sure, I didn't know you smoked. Sweetheart, I'm always smoking. And not always with cigarettes, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, thank you. <clears throat> Linda, I want to ask you a favor as one woman to <clears throat> another woman. <clears throat> All I ask about Eve is you don't hurt her. She's a delicate flower, you know. I think you should be having this chat with Jeff. Oh, really? Mm. I mean, the only reason I've got a chance with Eve is because of how blind he is. Hmm. Maybe she needs to open his eyes. Or maybe I'll open her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me, you. Miss Nasty. Well, may the best man win. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, a word in your ear. Well, I was just thinking, it's too darn bad that Linda won't go to the dance next Saturday, because that could be fun for everybody. Well, how do you know that? Well, you know, Chucky asked her. She said no. No fool? Yeah, it seems she won't go unless he goes, and you know how he feels about dances. Huh. Well, I guess it would take a miracle or something to make her go, huh? Yeah, or something. Uh, well. Uh. Honey? I was on my way to the bathroom, and I hope you don't no, mind. No, it's OK. You had some nerve asking her. I all's fair in love and war, sweet pea. Wait, she's not interested in you anyway. If she were, she would have said, yeah, she no. wants me. That kind of girl likes to play the game. What do you Trust me. I knew you were good, but these are terrific. I mean, they're better than the ones at the diner. Thanks. I mean, it's just a hobby. And the art school? That's the dream. I think you're good enough to make it a reality. Well, even if that were true, I'm certainly not rich enough. Eve, you don't have to be rich to live in New York. I mean, struggling actors and artists live on ketchup soup and in postage stamp size apartments. Linda, come on, do I look like I could survive on ketchup soup? You look like you can survive anything. What's, what's your next move, Jane Paul? <laughs> I ain't asking my sister. I'd love to do something like that again sometime. Well, you're right. This is great. I mean, no need to postpone the fun. Mm -hmm. Well, the dance is next Saturday. Uh-huh. And I'd like to take the sweetest girl in town. So what do you say, Evie? Well, we can double with Linda and Chucky. Yeah, what do you say about that? <clears throat> uh, it's a date. <laughs> I'm only going to that dance because of you. Linda, I really hope you don't think I'm leading you on. Relax, Eve. It's not like we have some sort of recruitment plan or anything. I only want you if you want to be wanted. I'm sorry. Never mind. It's fine. Can I ask you something? Yes. Why do you stay at the diner? I don't know. Guilt, duty, and fear. Sounds like you do know. Yeah, I guess so. You ever think of selling? All the time. Except for nobody really thinks of buying. Besides, I could never do that to Uncle Ann and Alma. Diner's all they've got. There is temptation in this air I breathe. It feels 
Thank you. There you go. Oh. And now I'm not ready. It's okay. I want you to draw me. Oh. Good. Yeah, I can. I can do that. Don't make me sad this time. Okay. Okay. What is it like to be so beautiful? It's a lot like being gay. What do you mean? Well, when you're gay, people have an idea of what your life is like, or should be like, about who you are. Hmm. Doesn't really sound that different from being heavy. Hey, Linda, can I see something? Sure. What is it about me that you're attracted to? Well, you're decent and honest and real. That's what's beautiful to me. It's funny, you know, when I'm around you, you kind of make me feel that way too. Saturday night, Linda Avery's gonna forget about other night. <laughs> Yeah, more likely you'll make her spread them off for the rest of the time. <laughs> Trust me. Oh my god. Linda was just oh. modeling some clothes we bought today. I'll catch you later, you. Okay. Oh. By the way, this isn't what I'm wearing to the dance. It's far too conservative. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> You look pretty hot, too. Hey, uh, Chuck, why don't you and Eve get in the back? Uh, why don't us girls get in the back? Madame? Oh, thanks, Linda.
ruin your Eve's date. Sweepy? No, oh, well, that's different. Really, why? Eve's an angel and all, but she's more like a like a little sister. I came with her to get to someone else. Really? That's why I came here too. To get to me? No. To get to Eve. <laughs> but you're a girl. That's right. And unfortunately for you, you're not. You and me, it's passion and passion. Ready for this? Sure. Good. Cause it's go time. <sighs> like an odd couple, don't they? <laughs> Look at that fancy footwork. Yeah. Hey Linda, you wanna um, take a spin? All uh, right, no thanks, Verlene. Oh, just a little one, just a little one. <laughs> Verlene. Ooh. Won't you mind? Chip, don't dance. Why not? Let's just say that dancing is the vertical expression of a horizontal desire. And, uh, Chip's vertically challenged. <laughs> oh. oh, hey, two can play that game. Look, I, I'm here to drop something down my pants. Can you help me out? <laughs> Couple, they? they sure are. I remember when we were young and in love like that. Come on, we're still young. Yeah. <laughs> You're sweet. <laughs> oh, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's up? What? KD Lang music video. <laughs> Look at little Berlin go. <laughs> I can't believe it. Sapphic canoodling right here in Squamish. Eve, hey, what do you really know about that, Linda? I know I like her. Why? Because she's nice and smart, sophisticated. She wants you. What? She wants you. What are you talking about? I don't know how to tell you this, so brace yourself. She's a woman in sensible shoes. Huh? You know, oyster shucker, carpet muncher, muff diver, beaver hunter. Come on, Eve. Linda's a lesbian. all over again. Do you mind if I just hang out for a bit? Sure. As long as you don't mind watching me cut pig. I don't mind. I was actually raised on a farm. You look like country girl. Really? I knew I looked like a lot of things, but I didn't think that was one of them. Well, also, you don't look like lesbian. News in this town travels fast. <laughs> I have cell phone. Of course. May I? 
Oh, please, be my guest, yes. Oh, thanks. Len, why do you serve so much pork? <laughs> you know this stuff will kill you, right? Because I'm loving it. Besides, there's money in pig, pig money. Especially pork bellies. You invest in pork bellies? You could say that, yes. <laughs> Can I ask you something? Does it bother you that I'm, you know, that I'm gay? Does it bother you I'm Polish? You are what's called decent girl. That's what matters in life, to be decent. I like decent people. This town likes decent people. You're at home here. You be who you are. That's what matters in life. Yeah, it's funny though. My father said the same thing until he found out I was gay and then suddenly his idea of decent and home changed quite a bit. You still talking to him? No, not for 10 years. Chuck. Chuck. Yeah. Do you think I'm pretty? What kind of question is that? Am I? You always have been and you always will be my beautiful little sister. No, that's not what I'm asking. Well, what are you asking? I mean, do you think anyone is ever going to love me? Because I'm fat. Hey. When it comes to love, you don't weigh and you don't measure. Okay? Come for a beer or what? <laughs> Ten years is a long time to be angry. Maybe he not no more. Maybe. What's that saying? Time wounds all heals? Don't put things off. You can't tell what can happen in life. Shoes you can replace. But people, people you lose forever. Use my cell phone. Just like you said I would. Eve, I have a confession to make. I'm afraid I saddled your brain for you. It's not your fault. Of course it's my fault. If I look like Linda, none of this would have happened. No, 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 that's not it. Um, I, I just thought it would help things along some if I, if I put some ideas in Jeff's head. Oh. So, Jeff asked me to the dance because you told him to? No, 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 not exactly. He, no, it, but, well, yeah. God, I'm so embarrassed. You're so embarrassed. Oh, no, honey, I'm the embarrassed one. I was trying to help, and uh, I guess I just stuck my foot in it. Oh, great, what's your next brainstorm? Well, as I see it, it's human nature. Nothing makes a girl more attractive than if someone else is wanting her. And it doesn't matter if that someone else is a man, woman, animal, vegetable, mineral. And you know what, honey? 
I think if you really want to, you can bring him to his knees. Oh, that'd be nice. See him drop on his knees. <laughs> That's the spirit, honey. <laughs> Although, are you sure you really want a knight in whining armor? <laughs> oh, I think it's time Sir Lancelot gets kicked off his high horse. <laughs> and you're just the girl to do it. <laughs> hey. I, I, I want to talk to you about last night. Jeff, there's nothing to talk about. I'm late meeting Linda. Well, I wish you wouldn't do that, Evie. Why not? Because, you know, she's trying to, you know, I know exactly what she's trying, Jeff. Is that the Lily of the Valley I gave you for your birthday? Yeah, I believe it is. Evie, I beg you not to do this. Well, sweet pea, just try and stop me. I'm really sorry about what happened between you and Jeff last night. Don't be. I'm more sorry about what happened between you guys. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm sure Alma was only trying to help. If it was anyone else, I wouldn't be as forgiving. She only wants what's best. I want that for you too, Eve. Honest. You need to talk. So talk, and fast. You need to find yourself a decent boy. To find decent? I don't know. But a boy, at least. You're a boy? Yeah, I'm a boy. And halfway decent, too. At least sometimes I feel like I am. Yeah, I guess you are when you're not talking about all that comic book stuff. And the truth is, I've always felt decent when I'm with you. That's what Linda says, too. No, Evie, what's gonna happen with you and Linda? What do you think is gonna happen with me and Linda? I don't know. Well, I don't know either. But she's wonderful. And I'm flattered, very flattered. See, for the first time in my life, somebody beautiful that everybody wants, wants me. Me. Well, you're a, you're a nice girl. Nice. Nice isn't enough. Enough for what? Well, you for one. I know I can be a jerk sometimes, but I really do care about you. Not that I know what to say. 
you were actually having this conversation with me. Except for maybe the fact that I'm sorry. You're sorry for what? You're sorry that I don't look like Linda? No, 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 I... I mean, I never... thought of you... who thought of you that way. Look, I'm not stupid. You know, I always knew that I didn't have everything that you wanted. I thought that I just might have everything that you needed. I'm telling you for the last time, Chuck, Linda is gay. I'm so out. <laughs> nice strategy, pal. I know exactly what you're doing. You're gonna pretend to back off so you can give her the old pouncey pounce behind my back. Why do I even bother? I don't know. Hey, can you ditch that for me? Hey, what's with all the artsy stuff? Evie did a cleanup, I guess. I, mean, I don't know why she tossed them all. She's crazy about that art stuff. Yeah, she always has been, hasn't she? Hello. Hey, Wilbur. Want a piece of loaf? No, no thanks. Well, it's like a little slice of love that Eve makes me ever since Mabel passed. Eve made that? Yeah, every week like clockwork. Helps keep Mabel alive for me. Is that right? Well, you know, maybe I will try something. Pardon the fingers. No, it's all right. Hey, uh, Wilbur? Hmm? Huh? What is it about her that you miss so much? Mabel? Yeah. Wow. Her laughter, for starters. And, uh... Mabel had a great way about her. And then there's the way she made me feel. Yeah, how's that? Well, I never felt like a jackass around her. <laughs> you see, the right woman will always make you feel like a good man. It's not magic, but it feels that way. Yeah, I think I know what you mean. Oh, uh, Wilbur, um, I need something. Oh, oh, uh, Playboys don't come in until the end of the month. <laughs> no, 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 not that. Uh, something else. Something special. Honey, I hate to see you so sweet and low. 
Why don't you just call them? At least you can fix things back to the way they were. I don't really think I want things to be back to the way they were. Mm. I just want you to be happy, sweet cakes. <laughs> Absolute original. Yeah. Although, you may not know this, those were not his real ears. They were prosthetic ears. He had had his real ears burned off in a restaurant fire. When I was preparing the corp. Nice of you to clean up for the funeral. You're looking sharp. Okay. Right. I'm still beside myself. Red did everything in his power to try and cheer me up last night. Even his red matador outfit didn't do it. No. It's hard for everyone. It's a it out. So, what happens now? What do you do now? I don't know. I mean, Walt said that he would fill in for a while, but it's not just about replacing a cook. No. Len always helped me with the business side of things. Yeah. I don't even know how the bills got paid. Me neither. <laughs> oh. Honey. Honey, you know, you're not in this alone. We're all gonna help you as much as we can. Me, Red, isn't that right, Red? That's right, honey. Yeah, maybe you can get Jeff to help you with the bills. You know, he's smarter than he looks. He had a lot to do with the running of that inn. What do you think, sweetie? No, right, honey? Right? Right. You know, I'll we'll do everything we can to help you out. So, Tex, you gonna call a truce? What would we need a truce for? For Eve, of course. She doesn't want you, Linda, not the way you want her. Well, guess what? I don't make a habit of forcing myself on someone who's not interested, and I'm certainly not going to ignore someone who's interesting. Too bad you can't say the same. What are you talking about? I am talking about Eve. Yeah, what about her? She's been inflating your ego for years now, but you know that. I mean, you're dumb, but you're not stupid. You make me out to be a jerk. Oh, you don't need my help for that. And Newsflash, your teenage stud muffin days are over. But by the time you realize that, Eve will be long gone, and hopefully in the arms of someone who really deserves her.
How's the pasta primavera? Mmm, delicious. Primavera, that's uh, Italian for spring, you know. How do you know that? I came to the restaurant yesterday to check out the menu, and one of the waiters gave me a crash course on what everything means. You did that? Sure, why not? I don't know, it just seems like you went to a lot of trouble for a dinner meant to cheer me up. I did it because I like you, Eve. You're sweet and smart, and I like you for who you are. Jeff Sweeney, that may be the nicest thing you have ever said to me. I know. And to think I almost said no to tonight. Well, I'm glad you didn't. <laughs> Seriously. I had such a good time tonight. Yeah, so did I. Sweet. I mean, me. Morning, Wilbur. Oh, aren't you chipper this morning? Sure I am. Anything come for me? I think so. For you. What's this? Just a little thank you for keeping my Mabel alive for all these years. I think I got the recipe right. Well, thank you. Mwah. Oh, and uh, there is this. Thank you. We are pleased to inform you that you've been accepted into our program. Please count it. the least of it. Mm, or the most of it. I thought so. Look, Eve, all I did was give you an opportunity, a chance, to show you that you could do it. You needed to know that for yourself. The rest is up to you. She's right, you know, Evie. It's a really good opportunity. <laughs> Hey, what's gonna happen to Eve now that Len's gone? I don't know. Uh, we're gonna have to figure it out. She really needs someone who understands her. Someone who will be there for her. Someone who loves her, you know? I mean, not some macho comic book hero. Would you just call me? Not you, you idiot, me. 
What are you talking about? Chuck, let me ask you something. What is it about Linda you like so much? Are you serious? Yeah. Well, if I gotta explain that to you, maybe you really are an idiot. Get your eyes checked, Jeffrey. No, my eyes are fine. In fact, I'd say they're wide open. <sighs> it's so beautiful here. So, Eve, the offer for the diner is very generous. And, well, we can finalize everything in fairly short order. I can't believe this. You'd have enough money to make all of your dreams come true. <laughs> How did this happen? Well, my boss had a handshake deal with the government to bring revenue to the area. The casino will generate more money and employment opportunities than you can possibly imagine. Oh, gosh, I don't... I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say either. A casino will definitely make this place... Unquaint. I think I need some time to think about this. I understand. You know, I just want to say, whatever I decide, thank you. Don't give me ultimatums, Richard. I have been with this company for far too long. Look. I already told you, these are decent and hardworking people. They're not going to stand for some faceless corporate machine. Don't threaten me, Richard. Listen, the shoes you can replace, but people, good people, you lose forever. Look, I don't, I don't care if you know what that means. I know what it means, all right? And that's all that matters. OK, fine, fine. You want my answer, all right? Here's my answer. supposed to be Dolly Parton mash, not Allie McBeal. People need energy and a little fat, you know. Hey, baby. Oh, hey, honey. How about we pretend my body is a map of the world and Ooh. you are going to visit every capital? Oh, lover, my bags are packed and my passport is ready to be stamped again and again and again. <laughs> oh. Huh?
now I haven't decided. Really? Very young. I'm getting younger. But honey, that's rude. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I've had too much. He's got plenty of time. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> honey. <laughs> well, I guess it's time to go home. We can try that package from Hector's house of hedonism that arrived today. All right, I'm in. Bye. Good night. All right, goodbye, everybody. It's time for love. Oh, baby, yeah. <laughs> oh, come on, big boy. What do you say you take me for a drink? You serious? Oh, hey. <laughs> Good night, guys. Good night. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. I got you, Brenda. Don't worry. Good night. Good night. <laughs> hey, Chuck. Oh, yeah. Where's a great place around here to pick up chicks? Let's go to your room. I don't think that's such a good idea right now. Hey, farm girl, do your duty. You wonderful, paranoid Eastern European man. Thank you. Close your mouth, man. Don't you know it's mosquito season? It's about time. It makes me feel tingly all over. <laughs> oh, it's <fucking> crazy. <laughs> Have you ever seen so much cash in your whole life? Jackpot right here on the premises. I always knew there's something I liked about that old swine. Len always said there was money in pork bellies. Yeah, that's right. So I guess the question is, now that you don't have to sell, what are you gonna do at the diner? I think I got some ideas.
is going to the Big Apple. Can we talk? He doesn't seem too happy. No I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Jeff. After everything that happened this morning, the only thing I want you to tell me is that you're not going to New York. Tell me you're not going. You can't. You belong here. You belong right here, Evie. We all have choices. Why don't you come with me? I don't have a choice, Eve. And neither do you. See, I never thought I did, but I do. And so do you. There, Rumi. Evie just heard from the Soho Gallery. Guess whose work they want to feature next month. Call me as soon as possible. <laughs> no, keep on painting and then call me. Wow, uh, this is Renoir. Bonjour, Chuck. <laughs> and to what do I owe this pleasure? Oh, what? A big brother can't check up on his little sister? I guess. So, how is everyone? A lot of changes going down here, Evie. You should see the diner. Oh, and we renovated the inn. Get this. I came up with a new slogan. You ready? Ready. Stuck in Squamish? Well, then why don't you get stuck at Stuckley's? Stuckley's? Don't you mean Sweeney's? Chuck, what's going on? I bought the place off Jeff with my portion of Len's money. That's right. I am the sole proprietor. 
and Squamish's newest and only available bachelor. Well, what do you mean? What about Jeff? I don't know. Chuck, what about Jeff? What about Jeff? He had to go follow his heart. You were wrong, Eve. You told me I had choices, but everything always came back to you. Look, I don't know if I'm everything you want. But if you give me a chance, I'll try to be everything you need. Oh, ew, come on. You can wait till I'm off the phone. It's my sister. You have him on confidence. <laughs> hey, you take care of our sweet pea. I love you guys. Across when I try, my heart 